Over here is the Rosetta Stone. It was the key to understanding Egyptian hieroglyphics and it is one of the most precious and valuable treasures of the British Museum. In 1799, French soldiers discovered a black stone near the Egyptian town of Rosetta. They had no idea they'd just found the key to a dead language. 23 years later, a brilliant linguist named Champollion decoded it, and ancient Egypt came back to life. His work became the foundation of everything we know, but in 2024, a machine looked at the same stone and saw what humans couldn't. Patterns, inconsistencies, deliberate deception. The key to Egypt might have been a lock all along. The Rosetta Stone became legendary for one reason. Three languages, same message, ancient Greek at the bottom, demotic script in the middle, hieroglyphs at the top. Scholars could read Greek. That meant they finally had a reference point to crack the mysterious symbols covering Egypt's temples and tombs. Champollion spent years comparing the scripts line by line. In 1822, he realized hieroglyphs weren't just pictures. They were sounds, symbols, ideas, all woven together. His breakthrough unlocked 3,000 years of silence. For two centuries, Egyptologists treated this as settled science. The Rosetta Stone was the bedrock. Every translation of every papyrus, every temple wall, every royal decree built on Champollion's framework. Then artificial intelligence entered the picture and it noticed something wrong with the bedrock itself. AI doesn't get tired. It doesn't have biases built over centuries of scholarship and it can analyze millions of linguistic patterns in seconds. Researchers started feeding ancient texts into machine learning algorithms around 2020. The AI compared grammatical structures, word choices, symbol placements across thousands of inscriptions. It could detect tiny inconsistencies that human eyes gloss over. The Rosetta Stone seemed like the perfect test case. Damaged sections could be reconstructed. Translation accuracy could be verified. Simple validation of what we already knew. Except the algorithms didn't validate anything. They found discrepancies, not small ones. The kind that make you question whether the three scripts are even talking about the same thing. And that's when the panic started. The AI analyzed all three scripts, word by word, symbol by symbol and it found something historians had rationalized away for decades. The Greek version talks about King Ptolemy the like a political leader, wise administrator, generous reformer. Standard ruler propaganda written for Greek-speaking elites who ran Egypt's bureaucracy. But the hieroglyphic version, completely different tone. It layers divine language on top of the political stuff. Ptolemy becomes linked with gods like Horus and Ra. The priests aren't just announcing a king, they're declaring a living god. Two audiences, two messages, same stone. This wasn't a translation. It was targeted propaganda. Each culture got told exactly what they needed to hear to accept foreign rule. And if the Rosetta Stone was designed to deceive from the start, what does that mean for every translation built on top of it? The deeper the AI dug, the stranger things got. Hieroglyphs don't work like alphabet letters. Each symbol carries multiple meanings simultaneously. A falcon isn't just the sound. It's also the god Horus, royal power, divine protection. The direction it faces matters. The size matters. Even the curve of a feather changes the meaning. AI detected patterns that suggest hieroglyphs were deliberately layered. Surface level for common readers, hidden theological codes for priests. The algorithms found geometric relationships between symbols, creating visual harmonies that mirror Egyptian cosmology. This wasn't writing. It was encrypted sacred art. To a Greek reading the stone, it's a political decree. To an Egyptian priest reading the hieroglyphs, 
It's a cosmic ritual binding heaven to earth, and we've been reading it like a grocery list. Then the AI flagged something even more disturbing. The hieroglyphic text shows grammatical inconsistencies, word choices that belong to different time periods. Some phrases look older than 196 BC. Some look newer, like the stone was carved by scribes trained in different eras. Either the stone was edited over time, or the priests deliberately used archaic language to make the decree sound more ancient and authoritative than it actually was. Both possibilities are problematic. If it was edited, when? By whom? And what did the original say? If it was deliberately archaized, then these priests were master manipulators playing a longer game than anyone realized. The stone itself might be a forgery of its own history. Here's the problem nobody talks about. The Rosetta Stone is broken. Large chunks at the top and sides are gone, eroded, lost to history. For generations, scholars filled those gaps with educated guesses based on similar decrees. Standard stuff, predictable royal language. But when AI reconstructed the missing sections using probability models and comparisons with other texts, it suggested something completely different. The missing hieroglyphs at the top likely contained ritual invocations, divine formulas, religious language that doesn't appear in the Greek version at all, which means the most important part of the stone, the part that would have explained what the priests were really doing, is conveniently missing. Or was it deliberately removed? The Rosetta Stone wasn't a translation exercise. It was a political weapon. Egypt in 196 BC was fractured. Greeks controlled the government, Egyptians controlled the temples. Two cultures, two languages, constant tension. The priests who carved this decree knew exactly what they were doing. They crafted a message that told Greeks their king was legitimate by Greek standards, told Egyptians their king was legitimate by Egyptian standards. Same ruler, different justifications, precision propaganda centuries ahead of its time. And it worked so well that even modern scholars didn't notice the manipulation for 200 years. But that raises an uncomfortable question about everything else. The Rosetta Stone sits in the British Museum, has since 1802. Egypt wants it back. For decades, the museum's argument was simple. We're protecting it. We're making it accessible to scholars worldwide. We understand it better than anyone. But now AI has proven that Western scholars misunderstood it for two centuries. Egyptian researchers are asking the obvious question. If you didn't even realize it was propaganda, why should you keep it? High resolution scans mean anyone anywhere can study it now. Physical possession no longer equals scholarly access. The stone might finally be going home and British institutions are panicking Nobody wants to say it out loud, but the AI findings prove it. Champollion made mistakes. Not his fault. He worked with damaged texts and limited examples. But his translation framework became gospel. Every Egyptologist for two centuries learned his method. Now AI shows he missed metaphors, misread theological nuances, interpreted some symbols too literally because he was thinking in French and Greek, not Egyptian. If the foundation is cracked, everything built on it becomes suspect, and that includes thousands of translations in museums worldwide. The AI cross-referenced the Rosetta Stone with thousands of temple inscriptions, religious texts, astronomical records. It found exact phrase matches with myths about Horus and Set, divine battle between order and chaos. The hieroglyphs weren't just crowning a king. They were positioning him inside Egypt's cosmic cycle. Certain symbols aligned with solar calendar dates. Others echoed ritual language from tombs. The priests embedded layers of sacred meaning that only initiates would recognize. 
a secret conversation happening right under the Greek text. Ptolemy thought he was being honored. The priests were performing a binding ritual disguised as politics, and it fooled everyone for 2,000 years. This isn't just about one stone anymore. AI is scanning satellite imagery and finding lost cities buried under desert, reconstructing burnt scrolls from Pompeii, translating languages that died thousands of years ago. Algorithms can now predict missing text with shocking accuracy, detect forgeries invisible to human experts, map how languages evolved across continents. Archaeology is being rewritten in real time by machines that see patterns humans can't. The Rosetta Stone was just the beginning. Every museum artifact, every ancient text, every translation you learned in school, all of it is being questioned right now. And some discoveries are making scholars very uncomfortable.